Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. If you enter your employees' beginning balances as of the start date of your company file, you will ensure that your payroll reports and W-2s print with the correct figures. You can enter a beginning balance for each employee you had when you started entering information into Sage 50 and edit it at any time. These amounts don't affect the general ledger, but do affect the year-to-date totals for each payroll field. Therefore, you should enter the beginning balances before posting paychecks. You enter employee beginning balances for the quarters of the year, assuming you started after the first quarter. Then for the current quarter, you enter the amount for each pay period. To access this information, open the Maintain Employees and Sales Reps window by selecting Maintain Employees slash Sales Reps from the menu bar. On the General tab, click the Employee Beginning Balances button to open the Employee Beginning Balances window. In this window, select an employee for whom to enter beginning balances from the Employee ID field. Then in the Dates row, enter the date reflecting the pay period ending date, the quarter ending date, or the year ending date as needed. In the Payroll field rows, enter the payroll field amount for each period ending date. Enter the deductions as negative amounts. The Total field shows the year-to-date total for the employee's payroll field. The net check row at the bottom of the window shows the net pay for the pay period and is calculated automatically. To save the information when done, click the Save button. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.